Construction was completed within 11 months. And the enthusiasm was so high that the wires were still hanging in different parts of the building. And people said, we want to say Friday prayer to thank the Almighty God. And we did. And again, another surprise, the, on the very first Friday, we did not have enough parking. And then that became an issue and a project and a challenge, what to do. We were able to buy a little extra land. It still is a problem. And we are thinking all kinds of ways what to do with that. And that building right away brought the Sunday school back from Pennsylvania, where it has gone, back to Delaware. And the number of children attending that just um, started increasing tremendously. My comment to the community has been, as the leader of the community, that bringing children to the Sunday school, dropping them in the building, should not be the end of the Islamic education, because that's what I had observed. So I started encouraging people to get involved. And whatever the children learn, continue that at home. And that the coming to Sunday school is the beginning. That's how it should be. And Alhamdulillah, many people listened to that. And we were able to see a generation of nice young people, including my children and children of uh, our friends and those uh, Delawareans who, who were here uh, along at the same time that we were. And now I'm very pleased to say that those people, those who were young at that time, they are raising their children and they, their emphasis on Islamic education is even more than what we have. Because as my, when I asked my daughter, why are you sending your children to full-time Islamic school? Her response was, Dad, we did not have that opportunity at that time. I, I, I mean, everyone when he's here or she's here, so the, the culture identity, the, the need to maintain the identity of the religion, of the background you have, and to adjust that, that was, of course, a big challenge. And you, you took that initiative. So how do you feel now? If, I mean, it's like you grew, you, you grew a plant, a tree, and now it's start fruiting. So but how do you feel that when you see the children going there? When you see that they are not facing what you faced. So. Well, th it has both sides to it. On one hand, these children who grew up here, they have much easier. By the same token, their appreciation is not the same as ours. So we have to keep reminding them who we are, what we stand for, and how we should behave in this culture so that the people right away start finding out that here is a man or a woman of integrity, of character, of good personality, a person who is helpful, a person who would go out of the way to help others. I am very pleased to say that most of the children that I know who were growing up at that time, they excelled in life and they are also quite involved in Islamic activities. Many of them, the way I know, they are paying attention to the basic Islamic teachings of prayer, zakah and uh, if their fasts and we went to Hajj first time when we were in our mid-50s, most of us. But these children, Alhamdulillah, my son, my daughter, they have already been to Hajj. And not only that, they are seriously thinking about taking their children again. That's what I meant that if we and our next generation keep on the right track, 
we can have best of the both worlds. I'm hoping the way we really learned about Islam after coming to the, the US, that the next generation, they will know even more and some of them will become scholars and they will not just be Islamic scholars, they will also be great scientists, they will be great doctors, they would achieve a lot and Islam would be the guiding principle for them because Islam has so much to offer. I know many such young people in this country who are balancing everything so nicely, it is so good to see them. So, if you been keep hearing that there are some issues with the minorities of religion like Islam, especially if 9-11, there has been some incidents in some states of, of the mosque. What do you say? What's the reality? Because here, when I came, I see, I observe different, but I hear it's a bit different. What's your comment about that? Is, do people have the freedom that you're talking about in religion too, or it's just in science and education? Well, for the most part, there is absolutely no problem practicing religion the way we want, which is very good about this country. There are situations where there is lack of understanding on part of midstream Americans. And it is our duty to educate them, to inform them, and work with them, and work politely. Like there was a situation where some Muslims, they were arrested because they were praying on Minneapolis airport. When I tried to get more information, it appeared they were being provocative. They were praying in a place which was almost hindrance to others. That's not what Islam teaches us. Why would we leave our politeness, our manners? We don't have to make a message this way. The message comes from our character our dealings, how we deal day to day with others. Prasab, um, uh, I, I just keep watching this. Um, we have people from India, Pakistan, Middle East, Muslims. While in Pakistan, there are people from the same country, from the same society. There was a mosque where I just saw that this is from this particular sect. There's people who, who, who who belong to or who live in different ideas, they're not allowed in that mosque. Why it is so? I see people here united. I mean, the community is not from one country, it's like from all over the globe. Why we can't have there? In most cases, the Muslims in this country attending mosques are from all backgrounds, from all different countries. And you can even say even from different religions in the technical sense, meaning Shia, Sunnis, Wahhabis, or even Salafis. Uh, but there are situations, there are small mosques, sometimes they are not even full-fledged mosques, they are masallas, place to worship, where people get together from one particular community. My hope is that as time goes by, that those small mosques, they will also realize that it is not Islamic, that they should encourage actively for others also to join them. Actually, some of these mosques that we are aware of in our area, uh, in Ramadan, they do invite other uh, communities, uh, communities within the larger community too. Rasa, um, being from the country, of Pakistan and then coming here learning so much. How do you pay back to the, I mean, I know this country has a lot to offer you. It has, it shapes everyone, not only you, even it strikes everyone, the system is so good. I mean, I know the people who are abroad from their country, when they hear something terrible, I know they feel more than the people who are actually there. So, something about that. Well, those of us who are living here, mm -hmm. away from Pakistan, 
our feelings for Pakistan is very strong. Anything happens there hurts us. Most of us keep actively thinking the ways how we can help our homeland. And we do it in all different ways. By our expertise, some of us as doctors have gone there, spent some time, given lectures. I have given lectures to my alma mater, King Edward, and even to Peshawar University. Uh, most, uh, I would say, uh, the help that we have provided is financial. And it is very understandable what money can do to a poor country like Pakistan. I myself started two scholarships there in Agriculture University, one under my dad's name and one under my mom's name on my dad's request. And regularly I send money to Pakistan, particularly the zakat money. When my father was alive, he knew people who were real deserving. Now it has fallen on the shoulders of my sister who is there. So we are trying to help the deserving people. My older brother has taken upon himself to help the extended family, those young people who have the capability and the desire to advance. I just got an email from him, a very exciting moment for the extended family, that a young man who's half is, half the Quran, he was excelling in engineering. He did not have any resources. My brother said, don't worry, as a family we will support you. And in his email he wrote that now there are six MBAs and this one engineer, my sister is helping a couple of medical students. So in any which way that we can, sometimes I think that being here we can be of more help to our homeland Pakistan than if we were there and would have been sucked into the corrupt system of that country. Sir, um, the country you are living, this is really a country, one of the best country which is a very good system but unfortunately the country we are, we have to struggle a lot. So what do you suggest for Pakistan society as a message? Well, sometimes I think the way things are in Pakistan now, if I was the president of that country, I would not be able to deal with all the issues that they have. There are so many and so complex and the desire to do the right thing is so little. It worries me sitting here. What I see day to day through all these televisions which Pakistan has now more than 90 of them. I keep coming back to somehow what many Islamic scholars say, that perhaps that is the solution, that if people start realizing who we really are as good Muslims and what good Muslims are supposed to do, I think the resources are there. The human resource is the biggest resource of Pakistan. I would go as far as saying that Pakistan should willingly stop taking any aid from anywhere else and build on their own resources. Same way when we came here, we started from scratch and we thought that it would be impossible. Yes, for some years, maybe a decade or two, it would appear that way, but then things would start turning around. And the satisfaction that the people will get there and the sense of belonging that they will get and by the same token, the energies that they will put in because it is theirs. Sir, you know, it's just before coming here, I just saw three young people. One who was a person who was just, whose job was to search usable things in the the trash can. Uh -huh. The person who was uh, there was this another poor youngster who was working on this uh, some bread shop or he talked and even he he, he he just 
top even the, 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 he broke all the record of the Punjab mm-hmm. University and then there was another girl I mean many, mentioning the same which you were saying of the potential of the human resource you see this is what really t- our talent is this is what well I, I mean, can I, I can give you again my father's own example when he was first in the district of Karnal and he went to his father and said that I want to pursue college education his father's response was I do not have the resources so his struggle and his life started from there if I start telling you all the details it could take hours but the fact is that my father he took it as a challenge and many times we heard not only from him but for people around him that the lights would be off officially in the hostel where he was living in agriculture college then around 10 o'clock but dad felt he needed to study more so he would come out of his room and he would stand under the lamp of the electric lamp of the outside public lamp and he would study there for another two to three hours so that motivation is what 